Cambrick, we are learning more tonight about a wrong way crash on 787 over the weekend that left several people injured. A crowd gathered on the highway seconds after the crash to help in any way they could. Kumi Chucker spoke with one of those Good Samaritans today, and she joins us now with more. Benita and Jim, Kyle Hayner of Troy said it was a surreal scene. Strangers all stopped on a busy highway, getting out of their cars to help. It didn't take long before a crowd formed around the damaged vehicles after a two car crash on 787 Saturday. The highway, which is usually busy, was quiet for a while. It was anybody, anybody, you know, it, it didn't matter who you were, what you were, where you came from. Everybody was just there for the main cause, just like I wrote on Facebook, you know, and that, that was the best thing to see. Kyle Hayner of Troy shared some of his photos. These strangers were united in their desire to do whatever they could in an emergency. The course of their Saturdays altered because of a wrong way crash. Some obviously had medical expertise. Hayner says one man was one of the first to jump out of his truck. He was in the middle of the 787 and literally just directing traffic with his hands, and they were following this guy, I mean, literally inches behind where this Jeep was. And um, he had everything blocked off, you know? State police say the Jeep was driving the wrong way on the interstate when it crashed head-on into an Audi between exits 6 and 7. Witnesses said they saw a lot of needles in the Jeep. They worked together to get the door open and the driver out. Her leg was stuck. Others were focused on the other vehicle a fair distance away. You know, it doesn't matter, you're all walks of life, you know, it doesn't matter the color of your skin, whatever it was, you know, you're working hand in hand with that person next to you for the better of whatever's going on in that situation, and, and that's why I stepped back and took some pictures. Hayner says this group emergency response is the kindness we need in this world today. We checked in with state police. They say no arrests have been made so far as their investigation continues. They say the driver of the Jeep is still hospitalized and the other driver was treated and released. Benita and Jim. All right, thanks, Kumi.